Hello, uh, Chef Shane here, and today I'm going to kind of make a ramen noodle broth. A reminder, ramen noodle broth is a vigorously boiled broth, very unlike a French uh, stock or French broth that is really delicately boiled. I'm going to make it using a, a Costco uh, rotisserie chicken. Hello, chicken. And I'm going to make this as fast as humanly possible. Are you ready for it? So I'm going to start by sautéing some garlic. Now notice here I've got a big pot. That's what I would really use. But for the sake of the middle school education and for the sake of the camera view, I'm going to use a regular sized pot. But at home or in a professional set, uh, setting, I would use a big pot. Here we go. I've got a hot pot and I'm going to put some sesame oil in here. If you are allergic to nuts, you probably don't want to eat my stock because I don't know anything about this sesame oil. I've got some hot sesame oil. It's hot right away. I'm going to put a big lunk of garlic in there. Should sizzle pretty quick. There it is. The next ingredient is lemongrass. When it's diced up, it looks like this. I'm going to add it right in there. All right, I am sauteing it up quickly. Without further ado, I'm going to start adding in my vegetables. Here comes some hunks of carrots. Notice I'm grabbing with a claw. Now normally, for any kind of dinner service, I would peel my carrots. But for a stock, I'm just going to add them in all whole. Here comes a cool celery lesson. You always cut the tips and the tails off celery. Oh, they, they go celery. in the stock. Here's a really cool way to cut your celery. Instead of cutting it like this, so you end up with a little celery knob. Rainbow. You see that? I'm going to cut it on an angle like this. I kind of stand it up. I'm going to come in from the top. And I'm going to get some really cool looking chunks of celery. Okay? It looks like bamboo. It really looks like bamboo. I don't need to cut it. I'm making stock. I just wanted to give you a celery lesson. Here's the trick. I cut it like this. Chop, chop, chop. Guess what? I can do it the same by coming in on the side, which is probably a little easier for middle school hands. Now, this is actually represents the Star Trek logo. It looks exactly like Captain Kirk would have on his, I don't know what they call it, his, his tunic. Anyway, so right now, I've got four ingredients in here. I'm going to cook them until they're brown. While they cook, here comes my Costco chicken. There's a lot of draining to be done. You can see it's dripping. I am going to rip the arms off. Well, they don't actually call them arms. They call them chicken legs. I'm ripping the legs. Here comes the best part of the Costco chicken. It's called the oyster, and it lives right under the leg, and it's right there. Who's, who's really nice is going to get the best nice Christmas present because Santa Claus is going to love you? Who gets the oyster today? Yeah, you get it. Take it. That's the best piece of any chicken. It lives right underneath. So I'm going to use this chicken to make my broth, but I'm also going to use the meat. So here's my chicken breast. Watch this, watch this. I'm going to cut off the breast. Watch, I cut one side of the breast. I cut the other side. I've cut two. Why? So I can balance the rest of the cut. So let's see if I got this yet. Bam, one. Two. There it is. So essentially now I've got a carcass, a chicken carcass. I'll take a couple pulls of meat off of it. And I am ready to make this into my stock. Except my garlic is not brown. In the meantime, I'm going to uh, take the meat off this. Why don't you go ahead and pause the... Uh... Okay, we're back. I have cleaned the Costco chicken. Just taking all the meat off, leaving carcass and the meat. Here's my pot. I have sauteed the garlic until it's brown. Hopefully you can see the brown in there. Yeah, I can. And at this stage, I'm going to go psycho, put everything in, and cook it rigorously. In this case, everything in starts with carcass. Nice. Let's go. There we go. Stay with me. It's going to happen fast. Here's sriracha sauce. Stay with me. A hit of soy sauce. Boom, 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 boom. That was three hits of soy sauce. I'm going to go a half a can of um, coconut milk. Not much more than that. I don't want this to be a Thai recipe. Oh, fish sauce, my favorite. This is the big dude brand, squid brand. One, squid two, brand. three, four, five. Oh, I slipped too much. Huh? Squid brand. Okay, um, I'm going to add some uh, anchovies in. In this case, I'm going to use the anchovy paste. This is a crucial ingredient, you guys. Because it adds the, anyone know what kind of flavor the anchovy adds? Umami. Umami, thank you. 
Um, I got the umami. Here comes the only seasoning I'm going to add is uh, curry powder. In case you don't remember, this curry powder we made in class, there's about 15 spices in there. Today, I'm going to do half chicken and half beef broth, okay? And if you can, at home, please do so. Here it comes. Shaking it, opening it. Hey, what happens to these boxes after I've used them? Recycle. Recycle. See, like kids like to throw these in the garbage. We humans are goofy. We do crazy, goofy things. Half a box of that. Like creating the atomic bomb. Here we go. Beef stock. All right, so half chicken, half beef. And... How come the chicken only has five calories and the beef has 25 calories? I never knew that. Okay, and go ahead. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, basically that is how I make ramen. Come on up and get a closer look at this. So here is a big bunch of carcasses, some, some vegetables. I'm gonna boil this like crazy for three hours. The truth of the matter is I'm going to need to add some broth or some water because it will evaporate. Without further ado, I want to thank you guys for watching. That's how to make a ramen noodle broth. We'll see you later.